Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Mr. Bowtie here, keep banging home that YouTube subscribe button so that way you can stay up to date on all the local coverage not found elsewhere and follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you'll make my mother proud. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Second round of the 1A softball playoffs to Hannes taking on Moulton in Marion. 1A has just 50 teams in the playoffs instead of the usual 128 and only 9 instead of 32 in Region 4. 1A has existed for four years and the Cowgirls were the state champions in the second year of 1A softball in 2019 and runner-up in 2021. The Cowgirls didn't get much resistance from the Kittens in this game. Here's BJ Rodriguez and the DeHannis Sports Network. Work. They're going to gun her out at third. Kayla Looper with the strong throw to third. And Frosch has a nice shot down right field line as Herman comes in to score. And Majors will come in to score. So two runs brought in by Jolie Frosch. And the Cowgirls now lead 2-0. to zero. The Pitch. Burrow swings. Gets by the third baseman. So Redden's going to come in and score. They're going to hold up Frosch at third for RBI single for Tony Burrow. So runners on the corners once again for the Cowgirls. Tony Burrow on second. A pitch inside for ball four. And Jolie's going to come in and score on the pass ball. And Jessa Frosch aggressive, making her way towards second. A pitch off the back of the net. And that's gonna be ball four. And Tony Burrow will come in and score. Simper with a pitch in the, on the turf, gets by the catcher. And Burrow's gonna come in and score as the ball gets by the pitcher. The pitch, Herman swings and sends a shot to left field. And the left fielder will drop it. And Kenner Herman will come in and score. Tori Johnson making her way home. And she's gonna be in safely as Herman stands on second. And the Cowgirls now lead 9-0 here in the top of the third. And it's popped up into the infield and Peyton Burrow there to make the catch for out number one. The pitch from Swanto, swing and a miss, first strike three. Pitcher, Lily Simper. The pitch from Santos, hit, fielded by Burrow at third. Fires it over to first to Redden for the first out. The pitch high and outside. Looper fires it over to first. And the guns are down. And there's only two outs as Redden slams the ball on the ground as she thought it was a third out. But excellent throw from Kayla Looper as she guns down Richter out at first. Pitch from Santos, catches the outside corner for strike three. So we head to the top of the fifth, Cowgirls leading nine to zero. You're watching the Hennis Cowgirls softball. Santos squares around, pulls back, and fires it to third, but nobody's there. So Looper's gonna go ahead and come in and score. Herman trailing her, and she'll come in and score. So the Cowgirls score, uh, score two runs here. One ball, no strikes on Frosch, the pitch. Frosh sends a shot to center field. It's going to drop. And Redden's going to come in and score as the ball gets by the center fielder. So Frosh making her way towards third. And they're going to hold her up at third. Oh, a triple. RBI triple for Jolie Frosh. Needle quarterfinal matchup. The pitch. Burroughs sends it. And miscommunication there by the left fielder and the shortstop is going to land in. And Carly Lutz will come in and score for the Cowgirls as Burrow makes her way to second. And the Cowgirls now lead 13 to zero. The pitch, Burrow swings, Simper fields it, fires it home, and makes his way to the backstop and Guerra's gonna come in and score. And Frosch is gonna slide in safely at third as Burrow advances to second. The runner on first. 
The pitch from Santos, swing and a miss. Looper fires it over to second, tags out the runner. So a strikeout thrown out. DeHannis, no trouble with Moulton. Nine runs in the third, five in the fifth, and that was it. A strike him out, throw him out, end of the contest. 14 zip the final as DeHannis reaches the third round of the six round tournament once again. Up next is district mate Lakey win that, and they would be one series away from a return trip to Austin. I'm Mr. Bowtie reporting.